Sup, bitch tits. Now, when I was growing up, my mom always say, Mama will always be here for you to come to me with anything you would like to know. So yesterday, it was uncovered that she owns a pair of handcuffs. Fifty shades of, oh hell no. I don't got no questions, I don't need no answers. But then I thought about it, and honestly, there's been a lot of situations that I may have needed answers, and Mama wasn't there. Let's say a couple months ago, I was in Brooklyn. Alright, I was in Brooklyn. Guy looked me straight in the face and asked me if I wanted to buy some weed. Now, as the inquisitive type I am, I asked him, how much for said bag of weed? He told me $2.15. Why was it so precise? Is there like a tax bracket? Government is charging me for this street side weed? Why am I paying taxes? Why is it $2.15? Is this actual weeds that you've pulled out of the ground? I don't smoke, but $2.15? That's a goddamn steal. AKA he stole that from somebody and trying to get that heat off of him for $2.15. So I ask you, where were you, mom? I may have needed you in this situation. This was a business deal. We could have shared it 50-50 or even 60-40. You could have been my manager. Or say yesterday as well. I was out in the cold, you know. It was kind of brisk, kind of brisk. And I was shooting something for the charity I'm a part of, Rock Your Task Force. And this guy, while walking on the street, decided to pull his penis out and piss while walking down the street. I admire his confidence and his assessment of the situation and that maybe he needed to pee right now. And as a grown man, he was like, I'm going to pee right now, but I wasn't ready right now. So I'm gonna ask you again, where were you, mom? I'm sure you guys can relate to these situations. Maybe you're having sexual intercourse. The kids are doing that these days. They are indeed proficient in having sex. You could be trying to teach your kids about sex and you'll have to take out a notepad to take down notes to write down some shit you didn't know yet, mom. Care to explain? I mean, I'm just scrolling on my Facebook feed. I see three different females, all in the eighth grade, all pregnant, with their leg up on the sink, taking photos for the gram. Mom, I'm in need of your assistance. Yeah, mom. I'm hitting this chick right now. No, I'm not actually hitting her. That would be domestic violence, mom. Come on, be, be serious. Be serious. I'm hitting from the back. Of course, of course, my stroke game is magnificent. But like, um. I'm not sure if I put on a condom or not. I might need your advice. All I'm saying is being a mom is a 24 hour job. You can't just turn it off at night. One of the jackets in the closet look like a scary monster. I need tucking in. I need to sleep. I'm sleepy, but I'm terrified. Yeah, now she's twerking on it. I still don't know if I put a condom on. Like I couldn't I can't remember if like I bought a condom this week. But yeah, you could expect the grandchild. What would you name it though? I was thinking if it was like a girl, I'd name it Queen Elizabeth IV, just to piss off Queen Elizabeth of England, you know? She'd be like, I'm second place. They're doing some kind of construction work outside, and it's like really annoying and loud, but whatever. You guys wanted a question and answer video for some reason, so send me questions at the Real Sync on the Twitter, and I'll answer most of them on Monday. So yeah, I was done recording, but my bro hit me up like, hey yo! Tim, give me a shout out in your video. Just say my name or something. So shout out to Snacks, aka Jermaine, aka the bro. Stay up, bro.